This is Ashley with Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 anime of 2020. For this list, we'll be looking at the best anime to come out this year. As per tradition, sequel seasons and new properties are all fair game, just as long as they dazzled us with their execution. Fair warning though, we won't be including movies, so the exceptional Made in Abyss Dawn of the Deep Soul is out. Also, the final season of Attack on Titan won't be on here, since its late release date will qualify it for 2021's lineup. Were any of these your top picks for 2020? Or are there a few animated treasures you believe deserve a spot? Let loose with your personal list in the comments below. And as always, you can catch me on Twitter at AshJBo. So head over there, give me a follow, and let me know which anime list you want to see next. Number 10. Keep your hands off Aizuken. A homage to anime past and present, while also putting the industry under a microscope, witnessing these three diverse high schoolers endeavor to craft their own animation was spellbinding from start to finish. While watching Sayaka's dry brand of humor run amok, as well as getting sneak peeks into how the trade operates, always makes for a great watch. The real draw here was the visuals. Leave it to Masaki Yuasa to create an anime within an anime with zero dialogue that left us utterly breathless. Number 9. Great Pretender. More of this, please, Netflix. Confidence man, sir. One of the flashiest and well-polished explosions of a crime caper you're likely to come across, this globe-trotting extravaganza sees several con men and women as they attempt to pull some of the craziest heists. <laughs> With a rich love of multiculturalism, sizzling wit, as well as everything that Abby does, there's plenty to love here. It boggles the mind that it didn't reach a wider audience, but that just means it's destined to become a not-so-hidden gem. <laughs> Number 8. Haikyuu to the top Continuing to reach higher, the Flightless Crow's grand return certainly delivered with both the feels and the spikes. Both parts of this fourth season certainly hit the mark, especially when it came to Karasuno's ongoing match at the Spring into High. We not only saw Hinata and the rest grow as players, but also as people off the court. Did the animation soar in comparison to the final match against Shiratori Zawa? Well, debatable. But what can't be denied was the overwhelming sense of optimism as the boys pushed themselves to become better athletes. <laughs> Number 7. A Certain Scientific Railgun T <laughs> The tragedy of this spin-off's threequel is that it might just be the best the Index franchise has ever produced. But due to being hampered by its fellow side stories, fans may not be aware just how on point Misaka's latest exploit was. In short, she brings the thunder. Level five, the battles are so fluid, gorgeously animated, and have so much gravitas to them that it puts the main series to shame. If you have even a spark of curiosity, it's probably time to give the railgun a go. Number 6. Fire Force Season 2 
taking the raucous, fiery fun of the original and packing in as much metal as possible, Shinra and Company 8's second outing has certainly had its fair share of bright spots, especially when it came to their ongoing battles against the white clad. <laughs> Not only did this season really push the fight scenes as far as they could go, but endeavoured to really broaden the lore of this perpetually toasty world, and in doing so delivered a result that was somehow brighter with its comedy, but extremely dark with its subtext. Also, Charon catching the beam was fire. Pun intended. <laughs> Number 5, Doro Hedoro. Are you ready for the madness? Because this thing is what happens when you blend together batshit insanity, grunge, classism, and graphic violence into one melting pot, and sprinkle in one Amazon waifu for good measure. In order to find the man who turned his face reptilian, the well-meaning yet brutal Kaiman seeks out the sorcerers who use his home turf as target practice for their sinister spells. With his beastly and enigmatic bestie by his side, Kaiman's journey is one mired in demons, darkness, as well as the question of what defines one's identity. And again, it's got Noi in it. <laughs> Number 4, my teen romantic comedy, Snafu Climax. It happened! It actually happened! In their own painfully pragmatic way, Hachiman and the Service Club got their happy ending, along with all the bitter consequences that came with it. In a shining farewell to the cynical trio we had all come to love, we not only saw a satisfying conclusion to one of modern anime's most contested love triangles, but also got to witness how they each overcame some personal demons. <laughs> Whichever girl you rooted for, you'll be glad you watched this show. Number 3, Kaguya-sama Love is War Season 2. We already knew going in that the romance and the comedy was going to be on point. After all, the hilarious competition between Shinomiya and Shirogane as they endeavoured to win each other's hearts had already ensnared us one year prior. That being said, we weren't ready for the feels this sequel dished out. I was sure they left us laughing like loons at every opportunity, but the biggest strength was by far its touching character moments, especially when it came to Ishigami and his pained past. We can't wait to see them make a grand return, but please, warn us next time before you shatter us again. Number 2, ReZero Start in Life in Another World Season 2. Just when we thought Subaru's suffering was at an end, along comes this twistedly tantalizing second installment, where it quickly became apparent that his death count had only just begun. <laughs> Despite lacking that one blue Oni girl whose name we can't recall, this one more than delivered on the hype, exploring the very nerve of Subaru's character and the trauma he has accumulated over his many, many returns. <laughs> we of course can't forget about Echidna and the other witches of Sin, whose introduction elevated the lore of this world tenfold. Good luck out there, lad. Try not to get eaten by bunnies again. Before we reveal our number one pick of the year, here are a few honorable mentions that demand your attention. Sword Art Online Alicization War of Underworld Season 2. The 
The Misfit of Demon King Academy. <laughs> Golden Kamui Season 3. Dragon Quest The Adventure of Dai. <laughs> Interspecies Reviewers. <laughs> Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Jujutsu Kaisen Storming its way through the gate onto the shonen scene, this shining jewel in Mappa's crown has firmly established itself as one of the frontrunners, and it's only just gotten started. <laughs> While the concept of a young rogue being trained in the dark arts by an institution of modern-day sorcerers in order to stop monstrous spectres that feed on humans might sound a tad familiar, the fantastic animation, intriguing cast of Jujutsu practitioners, and creative approach to the tropes all result in an exhilarating experience. <laughs> you need to watch this for Gojo's flexes alone. <laughs> But hey, what was your favorite anime of the year? Head over to my Twitter at AshJBow and let me know.